As Seneca once said, associate with people who are likely to improve you. You must be careful who do you surround yourself with. People who want to hurt you often do these five things, and you might not always realize it. Spotting these harmful people isn't always simple, but there are obvious signs to watch out for. In this video, we'll show you the five common actions of these people, giving you important clues to keep yourself safe and make your surroundings better. Some people want to help you, while others want to bring you down because of your identity. If you want to understand and improve your relationships, this information is really useful for you. Remember to follow our channel to get more ideas that will change how you view the world. Seneca, a wise thinker, believed that understanding people's true nature is important for keeping our inner peace. You might be asking what makes someone bad, and I'm about to explain that now. A bad person is someone who only thinks about themselves and doesn't mind if they hurt others to get what they want. This is why they do the five things I'm going to talk about. Epicurus, also a wise philosopher, stressed the need to keep our inner peace no matter what other people do. Now, let's quickly get into the first clear signs of people who have harmful intentions. Stoic thinking teaches us that managing how we respond to what others do is a key step to finding inner peace. First sign, always gossiping. People who often mean harm are usually those who keep talking about others behind their backs. Gossip might look like no big deal, but it actually breaks trust and causes people to split apart. Seneca said that gossip is like a poison that ruins friendships and trust. Second sign, being too competitive. It's okay to be a bit competitive because it can push us to do better, but people with bad intention sometimes compete way too much. This goes beyond what's okay. A long time ago, Epicurus told us that too much competition is bad. It can lead us away from what really matters in life, like being good and wise. Third sign, not caring about others' feelings. Empathy means getting how someone else feels and caring about it. People who want to do bad stuff usually don't have this important quality. Epictetus, a wise guy from the past, said that being empathetic shows you're strong inside and helps you connect with other people. Fourth sign, tricking others. People who want to do bad things often use manipulation this means they might emotionally blackmail someone or tell big lies to get what they want. Seneca stressed how important it is to stay honest and moral, even when others try to trick us. You may be thinking, how can I keep safe from these kinds of people or stop them from coming into my life? The trick is to know yourself well and trust your gut feelings. The Stoics, wise people from the past, said, knowing yourself is really important to handle tough times and stay calm inside. When you really understand who you are, what you stand for, and what you won't put up with, it's simpler to spot when someone is overstepping your limits. It's really important to listen to your gut feelings. If something seems off, or you think someone is tricking you, pay attention to that. Our instincts are a strong tool that humans have developed over a really long time to keep us safe from danger. Epictetus said that real freedom is when we can manage how we respond to things we can't control. Another good idea is to have a group of trusted friends. These are people you've known for a while who have always been loyal. They can help and give advice when you're not sure about something. The Stoics said it's important to have close friends because they make you stronger and help you when things are hard. As we keep looking at the signs of people with bad intentions, let's focus on traits that are harder to notice but can be more harmful. These aren't easy to spot unless you're really paying attention. Epicurus said it's important to really look closely at what's happening to figure out what people around us actually want. Fifth sign, always acting like the victim. 
If a person keeps acting like they're always the victim no matter what's happening, they might be trying to play with other people's emotions. Seneca, a wise guy from the past, said, it's risky to be around people who always pretend to be victims because they might be doing it to get sympathy from others. Even though everyone has hard times, people with bad motives often use sad stories about their lives to make others not notice their mistakes and avoid taking blame. The Stoics stressed how important it is to own up to what we do, even when things are tough, because it helps us grow into better people. Sixth sign, refusing to apologize. People with bad intentions often struggle to say sorry. They don't like admitting mistakes because it hurts their ego. A true Stoic understands that we all make errors, and learning from them is key. If someone never apologizes, they're probably more interested in protecting themselves than in improving relationships or themselves. Seventh sign, ignoring boundaries. Those with harmful motives often ignore others' personal limits. They might push you to do things you're uncomfortable with or disrespect your space. Stoicism teaches us to respect ourselves and others, and that includes boundaries. If someone constantly crosses the line, it's a sign they don't value or respect you. Not respecting personal limits is important to spot in good relationships. People with bad intentions usually don't care about these limits. They might peek into private matters, ask for too much, or not take other people's feelings and needs seriously. This shows they're trying to be bossy and control others. Stoic wisdom tells us that we shouldn't let such pushy behavior disturb our inner calm. Now that you know this, the next thing is to figure out how to keep safe and deal with these actions. First, make your own boundaries stronger. Be sure about what you're okay with and what you're not in your relationships. Epicurus said, real freedom is being able to control how we think and react to what happens around us. Don't be afraid to tell people your limits and stand up for yourself if they're ignored. Next, be assertive. This doesn't mean you should be aggressive. Instead, it's about sharing your feelings, thoughts and needs in a clear but polite way. The Stoics talked about the need for calm strength. This means you can say what you need to without being rude to others. Being assertive lets you stand up for yourself without stepping on others' rights. Moreover, find help. If you think you're facing someone with bad intentions, and especially if they have power or control over you, it's a good idea to look for advice and support from people you trust. The Stoics advised seeking help from reliable people when times are tough. Lastly, don't forget you can leave a relationship if it's hurting you more than helping. If you always feel tired, put down or tricked, step back, think about what's happening and ask yourself if it's really worth your time and effort to stay. Stoic philosophers always said it's key to keep yourself calm and peaceful even if you have to stay away from bad relationships. So it's really important to remember that while knowing the signs of people with bad intentions is key, we shouldn't start suspecting everyone. Most people we meet are good and just, trying to do their best in life. The Stoics said, it's important to find a balance between being careful and trusting others. They believed that real wisdom is in figuring out the real reasons behind people's actions. Today's discussion has given us important tools for keeping ourselves safe and for making relationships that are healthy and bring us joy. Remember, it's important to value yourself and take good care of yourself. This helps create a setting where positive, fulfilling relationships can develop. Stoic philosophers have told us that true value is found in inner calm and the kind of relationships we make over time. If you find this information useful, make sure to follow our channel so you don't miss any more tips that can change the way you think. Come along on this journey of improving ourselves.
Stoic lessons encourage us to always look for new knowledge and wisdom to make our lives better and more meaningful. We hope you found these ideas helpful. Today, we talked about how to spot people with bad intentions and also shared ways to keep ourselves safe and build good relationships. The ideas of Stoic thinkers like Seneca and Epicurus have lasted a long time. They teach us how to be peaceful inside, even when things are tough, and how to build good relationships. Always remember to respect and look after yourself. By doing this, you make a space where happy and rewarding relationships can grow. If you liked what you heard, remember to follow our channel to keep learning about yourself and growing as a person. We're glad you're with us on this adventure to get wiser and better. Don't forget to take care of your inner calm, pay attention to warning signs, but also believe in the goodness of real friendships.